Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to API testing. So last video we have seen uh, that if you see last two videos like registration and API we have given a demo already. So if you guys are uh, missing to see that just go back to my video previous videos so that you will get a clear, clear understanding what I'm going to do in this video. So in this video I'm going to uh, explain how to use this API key and proceed with next API. For example when you are getting API key okay so how can you use create new task and getting all the tasks so all this api you need some authentication right so you when you are logging in for example if you if you see from login login detail i have given already so i have logged in i got a api key copy this and keep it and go to next tab so i will use the same url with The end of the url we need to change as per the document for the creating a new task i need to this is tasks okay so task i have given so this is also a body because we need to uh, insert some detail into the db so this is also a post method okay you can see post method and parameter is task so what is the task name you can give so that is a parameter task like uh, you can see meeting today at 4 pm with abc something this is kind of a task you can take so when you send a api it will say api key is missing okay so where we can use api key go to header type authorization it will show in drop down and uh, paste your API key from the login so the value will be this so when you trigger again see task created successfully so what is the use of this API key so instead of giving so in app what you will do you will log in then you will create a task in API again you have to send username password so instead of that we are sending an API key so when you are using this API key so indirectly you are saying that I am creating a task under shiva, shiva22.gmail.com. So this is called a correlation we can say. So when you are taking an API key from previous response, that means login response and using it in the creating task. So when we are doing with, with this API key, all the action will be taken with this account like uh, uh, shiva22. Okay, so now you have created task. Let's see the same way how to get this task. Just go and just change to get. Okay, let it be. We'll create a new tab. So this is a get method. Same. Header, you need to pass the API key. Authorization. Pass the header key. Just send. See, you got one task. Okay. So ID is 139. For example, go back to creating task. So you can enter something uh, task test 22, something like that. When you click send, another task is created. Task ID is 140. When you go back to get all the tasks, click on send, you got a two tasks. So how to get the particular task 139? So after the task slash enter the task id and trigger the api now so you got only the particular task so in this video like we have seen how to create a task how to get a task and how to get a single task uh, using the id we have seen this so we have used get method for getting the task and uh, post method for creating the task because in post method like uh, creating a task we need to send some data to the db getting just we need to fetch the data from the db so we have used get method so we have understood like uh, how to use api in other api like uh, the correlation things okay guys so in this video we have seen already three three apis if you have any comments put in comments and please subscribe thank you guys 
so next video i can explain uh, about updating the task and deleting the task thank you